Today, our broadcast will be on our topic, Don't Judge Someone Until You Viewed Life From Their Perspective. A part in the book, To Kill a Mockingbird, is how Jim, Scout, and Dill was judging Bradley on how he lived his life. One part is when the kids were talking about how everyone in town was saying that Boo Radley had went crazy. Everyone in town says that one day he all of a sudden stabbed his father in the leg when he was cutting up paper, and that Boo Radley's mom ran on the front porch yelling, He has killed my husband. After that happened, they locked him in the basement in the church. They eventually took him from the church basement because he was going crazy and banging on the pipes during the church services. The kids really thought he was crazy. They would always try to see Boo Radley. They would come up with some kind of crazy ideas to get him to come out of the house so they could talk to him and actually see him. They never viewed life from Boo Radley's perspective, so they really shouldn't have said anything about him or how people were saying that he was crazy. Later on in the book, Scout actually found out that he really wasn't a bad person. He was actually very sweet. This emphasizes on how you should not judge someone on what they do or how people make them sound until you've actually been through what they have they have been through. You should always take time to understand a person's action because just like... Jim, Scout, and Deal, you could misjudge someone just like they did Boo Radley in the book To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Now we are going to continue this broadcast with going on in an argumentative good tip. <laughs> Sorry, let me correct that. We are going to have an argumentative conversation about the book To Kill a Mockingbird and our opinions on it. I think in the book, To Kill a Mockingbird, there have should have, there should have been more of a climax in the middle of the book because the book was very standstill and it did not have any movement in it. What's your perspective about the book, Haley? I think that there was a climax in the book in the middle because of the, the, the trial. <laughs> yeah, because of the trial. Because it, like, it goes from, like, standing still and then moving up and then still moving up. I think you're wrong because the book actually came in as two in with two parts. Part one was mostly about nothing really. Part one was about Scout and Jim's and Atticus and Deals and Calpurnia and all them other people's lives and on part one and then part two was moving into trial and Moving into how Mr. Bob Yule had a grudge against Atticus and his kids. I totally agree with you on that one, Haley. Point one, Haley. <laughs> okay, next Haley will introduce our next subject on the book To Kill a Mockingbird. Our next topic will be on our favorite parts of the book, To Kill a Mockingbird. My favorite part of the book was when Bob Yule tried to attack the kids and get to them in Atticus. But at the same time, Bob, sorry, Boo Ratley was there to protect them and everything. What was your favorite part, Haley? My favorite part was um, the trial. Because of our all, all of the climaxes during it between between Atticus and Mayella Yule and Atticus and Bob Yule and Tom Robertson and the other person I don't know his name. Yeah. Now we will be ending ending this argumentative communion conversation about the book. To Kill a Mockingbird. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Today, our broadcast will be on our topic, Don't Judge Someone Until You Viewed Life From Their Perspective. A part in the book, To Kill a Mockingbird, is how Jim, Scout, and Deal was judging Bradley on how he lived his life.